guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Brooklyn Brewery. This is their Barley Wine Style Monster Ale. It says right on the label, this Monster Ale was born in 2011. So, uh, uh, they're out of Brooklyn. They're out of Brooklyn, New York, guys. It's an English Barley Wine, 10.80 ABV on the scale on this one. It is a fall seasonal serving on this. Uh, and it's last fall, it's been 2011, so it's probably about six months old or so, and it's 10.80 ABV. It's going to keep for <laughs> for a long, long time. If you sell it correctly, I mean, this beer should keep 10 years or more. The food pairings for this, the cheeses are the sharp blue cheddar, your more pungent cheeses, even gorgonzola and Limburger, and uh, it says general food there, so this is a very heavy beer. It'll go with a lot of stronger dishes. It's going to, it's going to be, have a really strong taste to this. I got a feeling once you get up to the 10%, this is 10.8, almost 11%. The alcohol taste just overpowers everything to me. And it's just my opinion. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of uh, reviewers that really like that strong alcohol taste. I'm not one of them. The glass wire is pint, Becker, Stein, mug, tumbler, oversized wine. I got the Google Glass uh, guy. That's what I use. Uh, for these great big monster beers usually and of course like I said it can be selling for extended periods uh, as long as you want to keep it I mean basically it's it's pretty potent it's like it's like liquor in a bottle as far as I'm concerned you get up to the 10 11 percent so let's see where this one ends up whoops let's go down the center at 11 percent I doubt it's going to produce any head We got this a covering across the top. It almost looks like a almost looks like a, a sherry or something in the glass. I mean, it's carbonated and stuff, but it definitely has a reddish copper color to it. Look at that. Nice, uh, nice color. I mean, it is very impressive in the glass. It's very clear. See right through it. Bubbles streaming up. Fairly carbonated, not over carbonated. Looks good in the glass, guys. Let's get a nose on it. I'm getting, I'm getting some. I'm getting a fruity smell. It's like, it's like cherries or raisins. Of course I'm getting a little bit of alcohol too. I mean it's almost 11 percent. Very sweet smelling though like a candied sugar. The hops on this one they use uh, Willamette, Cascade, and Fuggle. And this is aged four months. Three mashes of heirloom British malt uh, is, is the malt base for this one, guys. It smells very sweet. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, guys. Very sweet. It's, uh, it's almost like a, a brown sugar or a candied sugar. It's almost like a cough syrup. It's so sweet. This is definitely a sipper. It's not bad. It's not my style, but 
don't like them quite this sweet, but it's uh, fairly balanced. I mean, I think I could use just a little bit more bittering on that, but very sweet. And it's probably, like I said, this was just done last fall. It'd probably be a good idea to grab another bottle of this and stick it in the fridge and just let it sit there. Maybe you can get two of them, maybe three of them. And, and of course, it's got the date on the label of it, so you ain't got to write anything on it. And check one out in two years, and check one out in five years, and check one out in ten years. And see how much different it is and how much more complex it's grown to be. So, very nice one to put back, I think. So, uh, not my style again, guys, like I said, but it's very sweet and it's probably going to sip for, it may take me 30, 45 minutes to sip on this and I may ship, pour half of it in another glass for the other half. So, stick around, I'll be right back and we'll do the final chug on this one, but it's going to take me a little bit. It won't take you that long. I'll be right back. Stick around. Alright, guys, thank you for sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass. Uh, I've been sipping on this probably about 30 minutes and shared half the glass with the other half and uh, very, very tasty. It's not my style, I'm going to say that right off the bat, but very easy drinking for a 10.8% ABV beer, so. but it is a sipper. Remember, it is a sipper. If you chug with like Bud Light, it's going to knock you down. Very smooth, not a lot of alcohol brew, but there is alcohol presence, and as it warms up, it is more noticeable. Wow, pretty tasty, guys. Final chug. Wow, that is a delightful body wine. It's a little more potent than what I'm used to drinking. Don't like that. That heavy alcohol taste. It's, an, it's almost like a cough syrupy sweet taste. So, uh, but it was pleasant. It's a decent beer. Uh, I'm gonna give it some good marks. Uh, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it seven. I'm gonna give it the B plus. Uh, it may be an A beer, but it's not not something that I would seek out to drink. Uh, like I said, I'd like to have this to put away and see how it uh, it, it changes and matures over over time. So. Uh, with that being said, guys, Ray Beer has 95 overall, which are excellent marks, and 71 in style. And uh, Beer Advocate comes up with an 84. So, if you have this one, give me some comments back on this one. You liked it, loved it. It's just a little strong for my palate right now. Uh, but it's a nice change. Uh, something I would like to grab another one of and put it away and see how it is a couple years from now. So, guys, let me know what you think on this one. If you had it, let me know. Give me some comments back on this one. As always, make comments, subscribe, and... You need a shirt? Give me a shout. If you need an opener, got a couple left. So let me know. See y'all tomorrow.